the Super Sports segment is dead. Or is it? Because I'm here with, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the 2024 CBR 600RR, which you will be able to buy in Britain. In, I think it can be about April, we don't know how much it will cost yet, but yeah, it's back. So hidden away amongst the exhaust system is a brand new catalytic converter, and that means that the 600RR is now Euro 5 compliant and that means it can be making its way into your Honda dealerships by, yeah, about Easter time. Now, it looks on the face of it pretty similar to the model that went off sale in the UK in 2017, but there has been sort of, some, sort of quiet evolution. So engine, about the same power, about sort of 119 brake horsepower, but uh, now there's a new throttle body with 2.2% increase in volume, very specific, but um, it should all help smooth out the power delivery and just uh, make it very, very lovely when you're cranking it around to the top end. Bodywork has been slightly Revised. The most noticeable thing is these little winglets, very much in vogue in the last few years. Kind of gives it a bit of a sort of mini fireblade look. I think looks looks really nice. If you are going for a custom setting, you can pick between five levels of power, three levels of engine braking, and no less than nine levels of traction control from the Honda Selectable Torque Control, or HSTC for short. There's also wheelie control, cornering ABS as mentioned before, a slipper clutch, an electronic steering damper, and last but certainly not least, a standard fit up and down quick shifter. So in other words, that's a lot of stuff. When you also bear in mind that both the fork and shock are fully adjustable, the CBR 600RR is a rather complex beast, and that means it's going to come with a fairly chunky price tag. You have been warned. Now all of those electronic goodies can be controlled using chunky handlebar buttons, and you can see what you're doing quite clearly because there's an all new color TFT display. The brakes are another aspect that haven't changed. We have Tokiko four piston calipers at the front squeezing twin 310 mil discs, while at the rear, there's a 220 mil disc with a one pot caliper, again from Tokiko. This setup works together with cornering ABS. There are some accessories kits as well. There's a racing kit, uh, which is for the track only as the name implies. So that removes a lot of the road safety stuff. And you've got a whole host of HRC goodies, including a new ECU, a wiring harness, new head gasket, a bigger radiator, a racing exhaust, which obviously is not gonna pass your MOT with. And there's also a comfort pack. So that adds a rear seat bag, which is 15 liters. Heated grips, not that I think this is gonna be the, uh, the kind of thing you're gonna daily in winter, but hey, if you're going to, you've got heated grips. Uh, and then there's also a USB-C socket with that one. All those heated grips, by the way, five levels of adjustment. So you're definitely gonna find the right level of toastiness for your hands. From the rear, there is a new swing arm, which saves all of about 150 grams. So um, yeah, think about that before you have a pre-ride snack, because if you're not careful, you'll undo all the hard work that's been done there. In terms of colors, that's all pretty easy. There's this red, um, or there's black. So not exactly uh, a lot of choice. So hopefully you like one of those. So what do you think? Is now a time for a 600 class revival? Have they been away long enough? Uh, interesting, we also have CF Moto here, that were kind of starting to dabble in the super sport market as well. So. Yeah, perhaps this is time for a revival or perhaps Honda's gonna be one of the few that's going to bother, but either way, it's back. And if 600cc screaming in line fours are your thing, well, here you go. Now, if you wanna see more from the Land Bike Show, make sure you subscribe to the Visor Down YouTube channel. Make sure you tickle the bell icon and for even more than land related stuff, head over to visordown.com where we've got all of the key reveals are covered, including a bit more detail on this bike here. Bye.